गुड मॉर्निंग माई सेल्फ एशा के जोशी लेक्चर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल डिपार्टमेंट वी पी एम पी पोलिटेक्निक माई सब्जेक्ट इज पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड द यूनिट नेम इज सेमी कंडक्टर डिवाइसिस एंड कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस यूनिट इन फोर डिफरेंट पार्ट एंड द फर्स्ट पार्ट कंजस्ट introduction of power electronics our objective of learning this unit is power electronic introduction what is power electronic to know about various power semiconductor devices and thyristor family to know the history of power electronics to know about power electronic converter and to get the idea about advantages disadvantages and application of power electronics now when we are uh, when we study the power electronic subject the first question arise in our mind is what is power electronic so power electronics is a subject concerning with the application of electronics at high rated power level here the high rated power level means the high level of voltage and high level of current so in power electronic subject all power semiconductor devices having high rated voltage and high rated current so basically the power electronics is the technology of conversion control and application of electric power into desired electrical output so power electronics is the combination of two system one is control system electronics and second is power system in this subject we will study different types of power semiconductor devices and thyristor family so in power semiconductor devices we consider power diodes in power diodes pn junction diode fast recovery diode and schottky diode in power transistor we consider bipolar junction transistor which is known as bjt metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor which is popularly known as mosfet insulated gate bias transistor which is shortly known as igbt then unijunction transistor which is also called as ujt the fifth one is static induction transistor which is known as SIT and sixth one is MOS control thyristor, which is also called as MCT. Now, if we talk about the thyristor varieties, then silicon controlled thyristor, which is known as SGR, is considered in thyristor. The second is light activated thyristor. Then, after bidirectional diode thyristor, which is popularly known as DIAC. then after bidirectional triode thyristor which is known as triac silicon unilateral switch which is called sus then after silicon control switch light activated switch programmable unijunction transistor light activated put reverse conduction thyristor gate turn off thyristor silicon bilateral switch asymmetrical thyristor and mos scr these are the different thyristors which we consider in a thyristor family now if we talk about the history of power electronics then the first power semiconductor device was discovered in 1882 then after the first mercury arc was invented and later on the first arc wall arc wall was developed and then after first vacuum diode was invented in 
After that, vacuum triode was invented in 1907. And then after, the main principle of power electronics and transistor was invented eventually. In 1960, the first silicon-based thyristor was invented. And in 1975, MOSFET, UGT, GTO, these are various power semiconductor devices were developed for different applications. And after 1990s, IGBT was developed, which is widely used in different applications. Now, if we talk about the power electronics converter, then there are mainly two types of power electronics converter. The one converter converts AC into DC, in which the power input is AC and the output is DC. This type of converter are known as rectifier. But some of the converter which converts AC into AC, but the frequency will remain same. So AC into AC with the fixed frequency and they are known as AC controller. But if it converts frequency into variable frequency, then this type of converters are known as cycloconverter. The another type of converter are converts DC into DC and they are known as chopper. And some of the converter converts DC into AC which is popularly known as inverter. These are the various symbols which are used in different electronic circuits. The first symbol is of power diode, which have two terminals. One is anode and second is cathode. The second symbol is of PNPN diode, which have two terminals, anode and cathode, and having three junctions. The third symbol is of bijunction transistor, which have three terminals, collector, emitter, and base, which is divided into type of transistor, PNP transistor, and NPN transistor. The next symbol is of insulated gate bijunction transistor. These are the symbols of gate turn off thyristor, MOS controlled thyristor and programmable UJT. These are the symbols of light activated SCR, asymmetrical silicon bilateral switch, light activated switch, asymmetrical SCR, reverse conducting thyristor and MOS SCR. These are the symbols of diac, triac, and silicon control switch. These all symbols are useful in making the circuit of power electronics. Now, if we talk about the advantages of power electronics, then we should first consider the efficiency. The power electronic devices have high efficiency. They have high reliability also. The power semiconductor devices have long life and less maintenance. They have fast dynamic response. They are small in size and less in weight. And they are of less cost. So because of these advantages, power electronic devices are widely used in different industrial applications. There are various disadvantages also, and the dis disadvantages are harmonic generating tendency, power regeneration is difficult in power electronic circuit, low overload capacity, and AC-DC 
and AC-AC converters operate at low input power factor. Now, if we talk about the power electronic application, then if we talk about the industrial application, then power electronic devices are used in motor drives, electrolysis process, electroplating process, and induction heating process. If we talk about the transportation applications, then power electronic devices are used in trains and locomotives, subways, trolley buses, electric vehicles, etc. Other than transportation and industrial application, power electronic devices are also used in some utility system and which are high voltage DC transmission, flexible AC transmission, power factor improvement, telecommunications, computers, office equipments and electronic instruments. Other than utility system, power electronic devices are used in residential and home applications also. They are lightning, heating, air conditioning and cleaning. Apart from this application, power electronic devices are also used in space technology. In space technology applications, we can consider spaceship power system, satellite power system, and space vehicle power system. Some other applications of power electronic devices are nuclear reactor control and environmental engineering. So friends, these are the applications of power electronic devices. So in most of the area, power electronic devices are used. So we will start learning the power semiconductor devices one by one. And the first power semiconductor device we will learn is SCR, that is silicon control rectifier in our next lecture. Okay, thank you.